Please go to chicagosfoodbank.org to find opportunities for how you can volunteer and contribute. Happy fall, everybody. Thanksgiving is just around the corner, so I wanted to show you guys a recipe that combines delicious fall flavors and will certainly impress your family. recipe my festive fall sweet potato bites. It includes some of my favorite things. Sweet potatoes, caramelized pecans, a cinnamon yogurt sauce, apple slices, and dried cranberries. The first step is to make the caramelized pecans. The reason why we do it first is because they have to cool before we can put them on the final dish. We're going to start by putting our nonstick skillet over a medium heat. Then we are going to melt our brown sugar and water until it bubbles. We're going to stir it around. sugar takes about a minute. And now, as you can see, it's bubbling, which means it's almost done. Now that it's nice and bubbly, we're going to add our pecans and stir to coat. We're going to cook this for about three to four minutes until most of the liquid evaporates. But be careful, because we don't want to cook it too long or else the sugar will burn. Now that these are coated, we're going to put them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper so they can cool. Before pecans cool completely, we're going to sprinkle a little salt on them so you have a little sweet and salty taste. Now these are going to cool and we're going to go right to our potatoes. Now we're going to transition to our sweet potatoes. I've washed and dried my sweet potatoes and now I'm going to cut them into one half inch rounds. Now, cutting sweet potatoes is a little tricky, so for all the kids out there, if you have a grown-up, please call them to help you. Now that our sweet potatoes are cut, it's time to bake. I have a baking sheet lined with a silicone mat, but you can also use foil. The first step is that we're going to take our olive oil and brush the silicone mat with the olive oil. Now that we've oiled our pan, we're going to line our potatoes on the baking sheet. Make sure they have enough space apart. oven heats up and makes noise. But that means it's almost ready for the potatoes. So the next final steps are we're going to brush the top of the potatoes with a little olive oil. Then the final step is to sprinkle them with a little salt. Now
Now these are ready for baking. We are going to bake our potatoes for a total of 25 minutes. We're going to bake them for 15 minutes, take them out, flip them, then bake them for another 10 minutes. While we're waiting, we're going to move on to our yogurt sauce and our apples. While our sweet potatoes are baking, we're going to make our yogurt sauce. We're going to be using Greek yogurt, and I like Greek yogurt because it's thicker and it adds a nice tang. So, we're going to add a half a cup of Greek yogurt. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're going to add two teaspoons of honey. Now we're going to mix this until it's all combined. Once this is all combined, we're going to set it aside and work on our apples. Oh, these smell so good, but we can't eat them yet. Now that our 15 minutes are up, we're going to take our sweet potatoes out and we're going to flip them. These sweet potatoes are looking nice and golden brown. To finish them off, we're gonna put them back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Our potatoes are ready and I'm gonna take them out. We're gonna let them cool and work on our apples. Oh, these look perfect. <laughs> While our potatoes are cooling, we're going to cut our apples. I'm going to use Granny Smith because they add a nice pop of color and a crunch. We got these at apples from an apple orchard in Indiana, and if you ever want to go, it's super fun. To cut our apples, we are going to cut on all four sides around the core, cut them into thin slices. Now that our apples are cut, we're going to combine them with some lemon juice 
and then it's time for assembly. Now for our assembly. We're gonna start off with a dollop of yogurt on our potato. Then we're gonna put our apples. We're gonna put our pecans. And our dried cranberries. And now, it's time to eat. Mmm, delicious. Thank you to all of you who watched this, and thanks to the Greater Chicago Food Depository for giving me this opportunity. Volunteering is important, and it can really mean a lot to get a little extra help during the holidays. I want to encourage families to volunteer whenever they can.